What it do, what it do, what it do. This is your boy, KQKC Boxing Network. Throwing down on another morning video. This time we're going with Terrence Crawford versus Sean Porter. Now this fight has been ordered by the WBO. Now we're going to get into it right after this. We are back. Now, let's get right into it. And we're talking about Bud Crawford and Sean Porter. Now, Bud Crawford is the WBO welterweight champion. Now, the WBO welterweight uh, 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 champion, Terrence Bud Crawford, uh, 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 pretty much reacted to the World Boxing Organization, which is WBO, ordering him to defend against his mandatory, Sean Porter, in his next fight. Then the two have 30 days to negotiate uh, a fight before it goes to a purse bid. Now, knowing Bob Aaron, and, uh, and like I say, this is KQ now. I don't hold nothing back. One thing about Bob Aaron, he's a snake in the grass, but He's a snake in the grass that's been around for years. He knows to play. And what's going to happen is, now, this is my opinion. Now, what he's going to do is allow it to go to a purse bid within 30 days. And then that means that, hey, whoever want to get in on it can get in on it. And you know what? Al Heyman, PBC. They might just get in on that purse bid. Just like Lopez and Trilla. Trilla came out on top. The zone came in second. <laughs> and Lopez promoter. Bob, Pampa Bob, Aaron. He came in, what? Third. He was like that motherfucker on trading places. I got one dollar. <laughs> one dollar. Now, let's keep this shit moving. Now, interestingly, Crawford told ESPN uh, uh, that he's literally been begging, begging for a real fight for years. <laughs> wow, wow, bud. Damn, really? And that elite 147 pounder he wanted. He had never shown any interest in fighting him. And he's talking about <laughs> Sean Porter. Now, if I recall, Sean Porter wanted to fight Bud Crawford. Now, I could be wrong. I could be going crazy like some people. Ha <laughs> ha. Right? But I'm not. But I'm not. But, you know, all respects to you inside the ring. All due respects to all your great athlete, accolades that you have done. But you're a bald-faced lie. Oh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> God damn it. I'm not politically correct. You're a motherfucking liar. You know damn well that Sean Porter wanted to fight you. Now, I don't know how you felt, but Bob felt like he was worth maybe, what, $1 million? After everything said and done, cut man, a, a, a manager, a trainer, and, and Uncle Sam, and Al, you're looking at maybe 500000 or maybe 600000 he is. That wasn't worth it for a former champion. A former two-time champion. So now, all of a sudden, you've been begging. And you're turning everybody down. Keith Thurman. I can go on and on. But see, you had your boy, the second black little rascal, that stymie, Timothy Bradley, capping for you. You had Bernie the guard dog capping for you. Everybody capping for Bud Crawford except Bud Crawford. Wow. Man. 
You like a motherfucker, the puppet master. You got strings and you're dangling them dumb asses. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did I offend anybody? Now, like I said, he been begging for a real fight. Now, uh, one thing about it, uh, 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 Porter had called Crawford out. And it was early this year again. But we'll talk about that today at 1230. Now, it's unclear whether Crawford has forgotten Porter called him out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you think so? And that was early this year, like I just said. Close to pretend that he's been avoid intentionally. But ain't nobody trying to avoid you. But I will say this. I'm on your side, brother. I'm on your side against Sean Porter. Why? Because I want to see Earl Spencer and Bud Crawford get in that circle. That square circle. That's what I want to see. And plus Bud wants it too. Bud said after Manny Pacquiao, he's coming from your ass. That's right. He's coming for you. Now, the question is, do you want it? And the question is, how bad do you want it? Because where I'm standing, where I'm sitting, a fight with Porter will not be a a, a 50-50. It's still 60-40. Now, you're lucky you don't go 60-30 because you haven't done shit to right now. You sit there and let Earl do all the heavy lifting and let's keep this in mind. The Charlos are my favorite fighters. Earl Spence and Deontay Wilder is coming in a strong second and third. But you got to be real, bud. Stop trying to span from uh, uh, Bob Aaron, the number one span master. Stop trying to take out your big zaddy. All right? Your zaddy. All right? Shout out to Kwame Brown. Now, now, let's keep this moving. Now, Crawford's reaction to Porter was this. Now, I'm going to read it because, see, I, uh, uh, I'm 54. Don't give a fuck. All right? I can't remember a lot of shit. <laughs> so, now, Crawford's reaction to Porter said, Just stay on standby because now you're trying me. Now, that was his uh, response. To Sean Porter early this year. Oh wow. Did he hit a nerve bud? Does that sound like a fighter that is being avoided by the elite in the welterweight division? There it is, people, for all to see. <laughs> Porter calling Crawford out last March and being told by him, now you trying me. <laughs> wow all right wow now the question is the question is this will he actually fight Sean Porter now his 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 words say yes come on with it this is what I've been waiting for but then again his body language his body language telling him that, man, what the fuck I get myself into? Because if you want to be realistic, Earl is taking on Manny Pacquiao, and that's next month. Now, Bud Crawford, don't tell me that you're going to go from fighting Sean Porter, which is not an easy fight. You know that because Sean Porter, uh, 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 bring it. He come forward. He's a dog. And you can't fight on the inside. And that's Sean bread and butter on the inside. So don't tell me. Back to back. Sean Porter and Earl Spence. I'm sorry. You had a great career. <laughs> wow. You know. But that's besides the point people. On a serious note. Bud Crawford has been sending his ass down all year long. I'm talking about we're in July. And the WBO just now ordered him to fight. He haven't had a fight this year. And last time he fought was early part of last year. If I'm not mistaken. Don't quote me on that. But I'm quite sure I'm right or close to it. 
Now, this is the question also. What part does Bob Aram plays in all, all of this? Remember, but oh Bob, one fight. One fight left on his contract. Is this the fight? Do Bob want him to go out as a loser? You have to ask yourself. Because remember, the WBO is paid and bought for by top rank. That's a fact. Allegedly. <laughs> so, there it is, people. This was a teaser. Because we will elaborate on this at 12.30 p.m. Central Time. I am KQ. KC Boxing Network. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you do so. I come on at 12.30 p.m. Central Time, Monday through Friday. And on Saturday mornings, I come on. That's right. I come on Saturday mornings at 10.30 a.m. That's a call-in show. I talk all week long. And Saturday mornings, it's your turn to talk. And once again, I run my channel differently. I shout out, and I'm a strong LDBC member. But everyone runs their channel differently. I don't block anyone for disagreeing with me. You have a platform right here to say how you feel. But one thing about it, you're not going to disrespect me or disrespect my correspondent of my channel. Let's get that straight. But you do have a platform to disagree, to agree to disagree right here. And one more thing. I come on between 12.30 and 2.30. I get it. The LDBC is growing. But stop coming on at the same time I do. Now, I'm not going to call out any names, but you know what you're doing. You know what time I come on. You know I come on right out the trail, box, and talk. Don't start that shit over again. I've been through this once, and I'm not going through it again. And with that, I appreciate you. <laughs> I appreciate you. All right? Now, once again, shout out to the almighty. Oh, oh, LDBC. Shout out to all my subscribers and slash supporters. I greet you with the ancient word of peace. <laughs> and that's Assalamu alaikum. Peace be unto you. <laughs>